Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and what we're going to do in this video is look at how to do complementary log-log regression in R. And so the reason why you would want to look at complementary log-log, or what we usually just say C log-log, is if you have an asymmetric error distribution. So both Logit and Probit assume a symmetric error distribution, meaning a few things, but one of them being that the greatest change is expected to occur in probabilities sort of in the middle of uh, the distribution. That's where we get this nice S curve. So when you have a whole bunch of zeros or a whole bunch of ones, um, instead of more sort of equally distributed in some way, we might consider using a, um, an asymmetric distribution. There's a whole bunch of different ones that exist, um, but the C log log is very commonly used. So what I did is, again, this follows from the previous videos that we've had. So we have our logit here. I'm just going to run this, okay, for our employment dummy variables and then our probit, okay. And then if we want to do C log log, it's the exact same code except in, in the uh, link function here, what we're going to include is C log log instead of logit or probit. Oh, hold on. Let me change because I want to take a look at these, the AIC values on these. So let me just let me just rerun these. There we go. Just so that we have the saved objects. All right. And then we're going to rerun this as well. Let's just take a look at the output. The output looks the same as what we did before. All right. The values are going to, the coefficients are going to be slightly different just because it's different error distribution. All right, so what we can do is just um, to check to see what is preferred, what we can do is look at the AIC values here. So we can look at them all, you can look at them individually, or what we can do is include, I'm just going to pull this up over here. We're just going to ask for the AIC values for each one of the different models. So we're going to use the concatenate function. So we have C and then model one all right dollar sign oh dollar sign aic okay so so the um each each one of these models saves a whole bunch of things so one of them is the aic value all right so that's for model one is for logit and then model two is for probit and then model three is for our c log log all right, so let's highlight that and run that. All right, so when you're looking at AIC values, you're just looking to see, um, you know, which has the smallest one here. And so um, what we want to look for really is just simply, is the C log log lower than logit or probit? So this is probit, this is logit. Um, and we see that it's not. So what it's saying is that it's not preferred um, for fitting this data. All right, so that's it for this video. It's just a real quick short one looking at how to do C log log in R. All right, so like the video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.